Hey everyone. It was dark and overcast the morning I set out on the long path to climb High Tor. At over 800 feet, High Tor is a hill that's rich in legend and history. Artists and poets have tried to capture her. And despite the low hanging clouds, the views from the peak were awe inspiring. But this hike would not have been possible if not for one man. And that man was Elmer Van Orden. Van Orden lived on the side of this mountain. He lived in a home his family had owned since before the Revolutionary War. And Elmer Van Orden owned High Tour. But the New York Trap Rock Company wanted High Tour. The rock that this hill is made of was valuable. And if they got their hands on High Tour, they would have dynamited and hauled her away. So, the New York Trap Rock Company made repeated offers to buy High Tour. But Elmer Van Orden refused to sell. He refused to sell at any price. So while much of the Palisades fell to the quarryman's dynamite, High Tour remained untouched. Van Orden's standoff with the Trap Rock Company came to the attention of popular playwright Maxwell Anderson. And he told that story in his 1930 Broadway play, simply called High Tour. And that play was a huge success. Later on, that same Maxwell Anderson play, High Tour, was made into a made-for-TV musical, starring Bing Crosby and Julie Andrews. The musical rewrite aired March 10th, 1956, and Bing Crosby, the crooner himself, played Elmer Van Orden. They want to claw the back off the mountain, just like they did across the clove over there. Leave the palisades sticking up like billboards, false front facing the river. Oh, not for Pap and not for me. But $10,000. Judy, a quarter of a mile straight down is the Tappan Zee. From here, you can see 15 miles of river looking north and south. I grew up looking at it, and I'm used to it. I like it. I stayed quite a while up on High Tour, just taking in the views. And when I headed down, I decided to take the side trail to the old Van Orden homestead. Today, there's little left of his home. But as I wandered through the area, it became very clear to me that this was a beautiful place to live. And it was then that I thought I understood why Van Orden refused to sell. The trap rock the quarry men wanted was everywhere. Trap rock pops out of the fields. It slides down the hillside. You trip over trap rock on the trail. And trap rock is even in the foundation of Van Orden's old ancestral home. Elmer Van Orden's entire life was surrounded by trap rock. Trap rock was as much a part of Elmer Van Orden as it is High Tour. So of course he couldn't sell. You know from where I live, up on High Tour, I can look east across the Hudson River into Westchester County. If I look upstream, there's mountains on both sides. Strange and wonderful things happen on High Tour. Things that you'd hardly believe. 